So you have a Micro Four Thirds camera. It's a compact camera. It's awesome, but you want a nice compact lens to go with it. Well, I recently made a review on the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7, a pretty great all-around lens, really compact at a decent price. However, if you want a lens that's going to zoom in a little more, that's going to add more bokeh to your images, be able to create more depth of field, what do you buy? Well, I think I have an option for you. So this is the Lumix 42.5mm f1.7. This is a under $400 lens. Right now on Amazon it is $347 and it is a killer deal. I have a couple of these and they are usually my go-to lenses for event videography as well as photography. Looking at the lens, it is really simple. There's no fancy switches, no fancy buttons. There is a ring that goes around it and that does allow you to focus. Note that this is a prime lens. It doesn't zoom. You're gonna have to zoom in and out with your feet, but that's fine. Prime lenses are known for being fast and being sharp. And that is exactly what this is. In terms of sharpness, at f1.7, this lens is very sharp. Yes, the sharpness will go down a little bit once you start getting to like f8. And at f16, it might be a little more noticeable. But at the end of the day, the sharpness is just on point. If you want to talk about chromatic aberration, there's a little bit of it, but really it's never been an issue, even at f1.7. And then on the flip side, vignetting, yes, there is a slight noticeable vignette at f1.7, but it's been something that I've never really noticed. Uh, I've never had a huge problem with. All the images at f1.7 look pretty good. When it comes to autofocus, this lens is pretty fast. I made a note that the 20mm f1.7 was a tad slow, not a huge issue, but was a tad slow. This lens is definitely a little bit quicker and that's definitely appreciated. Now, because I didn't mention it before, build quality definitely is on point. I mean, this thing is tiny, not much can move around or anything. The manual focus ring is smooth, I mean, buttery smooth. When you do buy this lens, it does come with a sun hood. Um, I always leave the sun hood on. Just adds a little bit more bulk to the lens, makes it look a little bit more professional. However, also I don't want to lose it. Now, if I had to say anything bad about this lens, the only thing I really would say is the minimal focus distance is a tad over one foot. Now, that might not seem like a big deal, but there are times where I'm using this lens on my camera as my main lens and I want to just get a quick detailed shot on maybe this plant right here and sometimes it's just not as applicable as I would like it to be. So now comes the question of who is this lens for? What is it actually good for? Well with a f-stop of f1.7 you're going to get really good low light performance out of this lens and additionally with the combination of it being an f1.7 and the fact that its focal distance is a 42.5 millimeter you're actually going to get some pretty decent bokeh some pretty decent depth of field with this lens primarily for my event business this is a go-to lens for my photographers. When they're doing portraits for weddings and all that, this is what they are constantly using. This being on a Micro Four Thirds camera is an 85 millimeter equivalent of a full frame lens. And so yes, that is a little bit zoomed in, but that's really good for close-ups, for detailed shots. And as long as you're in a big enough space, this lens is absolutely phenomenal. Now, when it comes to needing a wider lens, then we'll typically use the 20 millimeter F1.7. But again, due to the great low light abilities of this lens, due to the awesome depth of field that this lens provides, this is our go-to lens. And even when filming B-roll and stuff in this studio, this is one of my favorite lenses that I use all the time. As long as I don't need to get a really close up shot, like a macro shot of a product. Now I do need to mention, they do have a bigger brother to this lens. It is a 42.5 millimeter F1.2. I really want it. However, the price is $1,200 is an f1.2 really that much worth it you can make an argument with me that it actually is and don't get me wrong it's a lens that i definitely want but for twelve hundred dollars i can get three or maybe even more of these lenses 
and that is more beneficial to me. At the end of the day, I absolutely love the quality that this lens provides. It's never done me wrong. It does great work in the field, in the studio, etc. So if you're looking for a great portrait lens, um, a great detailed lens, a lens that'll give you some nice depth of field, by all means, the 42.5 millimeter f1.7 is definitely the lens for you. It is compact, it is relatively cheap at costing around $350, so definitely get it, link in the description. Anyway guys, if you have questions, comments, concerns about this product, about anything else, please let me in the comment section below. Anyway, I'm Eric, and I'll catch you in the next one.